In this video, you will learn how to set the dynamic expiry date alert system in Microsoft Excel. Here you have the item name, their stock quantity and the expiry dates. And our requirement here is to create a expiry alert system with automatic coloring. Here you see the expired product are highlighted with the red color. Near to expired products are highlighted with the yellow color and highlighted with the green color and uh, this is fully dynamic because this automatically changes as the date goes on if you open this file on 1st of april 2024 then this product will get expired and this will auto change similarly if the products having sufficient time falls under the category of near to expire then it will automatically change and also the color will auto change and here i have the criteria for setting of the alert if the product's life is less than zero days then it is expired if the life is 1 to 45 days then it is near to expire and if the product's life is 46 days and more then it is sufficient time you can change these criteria according to your nature of the product here this is just for example so here let me delete this from here then also clear the conditional formatting because the automatic coloring is done from conditional formatting now let's start with the process here in this cell we have to use the eps function to display the expiry alert so press equal to then type ifs eps function open bracket in the logical test one we have to check whether the remaining life of the product is less than zero days or not so to check the life of the product or to calculate the life of the product we have to subtract today from the expiry date so here open one more bracket then click on the expiry date minus then type today function today open bracket close bracket this will give the current date or today's date and it will auto update like if you open this file after two days then this today function will calculate the current date or that day's date so after subtracting default minus today then close bracket and press the less than symbol and here type zero because we are testing whether the remaining life of the product is zero days and less or not then give a comma in the value if true or if this logic is true then we have to display expired so here type double quotation then type expired then double quotation again then give a comma now we need to check the second logic for near expired product so here in the logical test 2 the formula will be open bracket then click on the expiry date minus then again type today function bracket open bracket close close bracket then this should be less than 46 for near expire so here type less than symbol then type 46 because 1 to 45 days life is near expire here we can also write is less than or equal to 45 or if we don't type here equal to then we can write less than 46 then give a comma in this case the product is near to expire so here in the value if true type double quotation then type near to expire then double quotation again then give a comma now we have to check for the third logic that is the sufficient time in this case the life of the product should be greater than or equal to 46 or it should be greater than 45 for near to expire so here in this case the formula will be bracket open then click on the expiry date cell here that cell is covered by formula so manually type the cell address that is default minus today bracket open bracket close close bracket if this is greater than type the greater than symbol then type 45 
or you can also write greater than or equal to 46 the thing is same here I am writing greater than equal to 46 comma in this case the product is supposed to be sufficient time so here in the value if true 3 we have to type double quotation then sufficient time double quotation close bracket close now the formula is complete press enter and here you see this product is already expired the expiry date was on 31st of january 2024 which is already expired so here it displayed expired if you go here in the fill handle then drag this down here you see all the expiry alert is given here some product are near to expire some are sufficient time so the formula has calculated this now to automatic color coding of this we have to use the conditional formatting so to use conditional formatting here first of all select the range this way then click on home tab and click on conditional formatting click on highlight cell rule then choose this equal to option now here in the format cell that are equal to box we have to first write here expired then here in the formatting option click on this drop down go to custom format then choose the color that you want to use for the expired product here i am choosing this red color for the expired product then click ok again click ok now the expired product is highlighted with the red again go to conditional formatting click on highlight cell rule equal to then here type near to expire then go here in the formatting option custom format then choose the color here i am choosing yellow color for near to expire product then click ok again click ok the near to expire product is now highlighted with the yellow color similarly for sufficient time select the range go to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to then here type sufficient time then go to the custom format then choose the color here i am choosing the green color for product having sufficient time then click ok and again click ok now the product with sufficient time is highlighted with the green color now after doing this save your file now when you open the file later if some product has expired then it will automatically update if some product has come in the category of near to expire it will auto update and the product having sufficient time will auto update this is useful when you have a large list of products then you can easily figure out which products are already expired which are near to expire when you see the near to expire notification then you can push this product to sell fast you can operate different schemes to liquidate the stock so this is the way of setting up expiry alert to the expire date of products in microsoft excel this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial